In this lesson, we will talk about Chebyshev's theorem. This theorem says that for any sample, at least 100 minus 100 over k squared percent of the data values must lie within k sample standard deviations of the sample mean. This is true for any k greater than 1. k does not have to be an integer, but it must be greater than 1. What interval contains the within k sample standard deviations of the mean? That interval is x bar, the sample mean, minus k times the sample standard deviation, and x bar plus k times the sample standard deviation, s. This theorem also says that for any population, at least, Again, 100 minus 100 over k squared percent of the distribution must lie within k population standard deviations of the population mean. Again, this is true for any k greater than 1. What does our interval look like in this case? It is the population mean minus k times the population standard deviation and the population mean plus k times the population standard deviation. Let's fill in the following blank in the following statement. At least blank of the data values or the distribution must be within two standard deviations of the mean or two standard deviations of the population mean respectively. Let's fill in the blank. In this problem, what does k equal? k equals 2. So now we need to figure out what 100 minus 100 over k squared is. That's 100 minus 100 over 4, and that equals 75. So at least 75 percent of the data values or the distribution must be between, must lie within two standard deviations of the mean. At least what percent of the data values of the distributions must lie within three standard deviations of the mean? In this case, k equals 3, so we need to figure out what 100 minus 100 over 9 is. That is 88.9. So at least 88.9 percent of the data value from any sample, or 88.9 percent of all values in a distribution must lie within three standard deviations of the mean. At least what percentage of the data values or distribution must lie within four standard deviations of the mean? k equals 4, so we need to figure out 100 minus 100 over 16. That equals 93.75, so at least 93.8% of the data values or the distribution must lie within four standard deviations of the mean. What percentage of the data lies within five standard deviations of the mean? In that case, k equals 5, and we need to figure out 100 minus 100 over 25, and that equals 96. So at least 96 percent of the data values from any sample or any population must lie within five standard deviations of the mean. Let's look at an example that uses Chebyshev's theorem. Suppose a random sample of 20 hours was selected, and for each hour, the number of customers served at the local gas station was recorded. If the mean number of customers served per hour was 118, and the standard deviation was 10.6 customers, calculate the following. We need to find the smallest proportion of data values and the interval that lies within two standard deviations of the mean. Let's first calculate the interval. Our interval should be x bar minus two sample standard deviations up to x bar plus two times the sample standard deviation. Our x bar, our sample mean, is 118 customers per hour minus 2 times 10.6 customers per hour. And the upper bound is 118 plus 2 times 10.6. 
which gives us an interval of 96.8 and 139.2. So now we want to find the smallest proportion of data values that must lie within that interval. This is two standard deviations, so k equals 2. We know that at least 100 minus 100 over k squared, or 100 minus 100 over 4, which is 75. So we know that at least 75 percent of the sample must lie between 96.8 customers per hour and 139.2 customers per hour. Now we want to do the same thing, but instead of looking at the smallest proportion of data values that lie within two standard deviations of the mean, we want to find the smallest proportion of data values that lie within four standard deviations of the mean. Again, let's start by calculating the interval x bar minus 4s and x bar plus 4s. Again, x bar was 118 minus 4 times a sample standard deviation of 10.6 up to 118 plus 4 times 10.6. And that interval is 75.6 customers per hour up to 160.4 customers per hour. Now we need to find the smallest proportion of data values that must lie within that interval. In this case, k equals 4, and we need to calculate 100 minus 100 over 6k squared, which is 100 minus 100 over 16, which is 93.8. And we therefore know that at least 98.8% of the sample must lie between 75.6 customers per hour and 160.4 customers per hour. All of this was possible because of Chebyshev's theorem.